Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 312 of Ooh. the Spearhead Sundays podcast. Special guest episode, Tom and Frenchie. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Thank you for, having, for us. having us. We've missed you. No worries. You're in my hood. You're in Frankston now. Yeah. How does it feel? You're in your throne. The yeah. big red tougher. throne. You, you reckon? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we walked the streets. We walked through that whole mall. Not one person even looked at us. You know, it's, 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 it's gentrifying away. in real time. I've it's heard that. it's getting it's getting nice. People don't believe me. It's going to nice become houses. a really nice place. That's on the beach. It makes yeah. sense. That's the thing is, it's like uh, I think it's it's mid transition. Like you know <laughs> when it when the like, dick hasn't been cut off. Yeah, you your trans mate, <laughs> where they they go. I want to be called Sarah now, but yeah. they don't have the clothes. They yeah. don't have the makeup. They've yeah. started doing a little yeah. bit of eyeliner. They're not very good at it. Yeah. So mm. one day they'll blossom into into a really fuckable woman. But right now, yeah, right it's now just you're like like, oh, like cool. I'm, I'll do what you want but like i'm not ready yeah to 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 move in yet to, yeah to fuck you yet, yeah, yeah exactly yeah that's that's exactly what frankston is <laughs> you know what's cool about living here what's is that? that whenever you whenever you tell someone that you live here they go oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. they give you that my condolences look it's yeah. just straight cred though like yeah it is yeah yeah true. yeah it's Would, the it, type of street cred that that I also notice this: if you have a friend who's gone to prison, I used to do a joke about it. Mm. You get a lot of street credit that mm. you don't have to earn by doing crimes. Mm. You go, I know someone in prison, and then that kind of makes you mm. tough by proxy, but, but which makes you, no do sense. Do you say it like that, or do you go, Yeah, I know an essay in the slammer. I know, yeah, I got boys in the pen. I got boys yeah. in the pen, man. Yeah. I got oh, crew they in doing a hard time. Yeah, yeah, they in them cellies. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't do that. <laughs> it yeah, just it fair. just comes up in conversation fair. incredibly rarely. Oh, yeah, but you like could probably though. drop it if you wanted to. Like if I had a mate in the pen, I'd probably mm. drop. I'd probably be ordering macas. They're like, "What do you want?" I'm like, "Oh, well, as my buddy in the better, pen. Yeah. Well, my he's, buddy, my buddy Johnny, yeah, is in prison. Yeah, and he can't have a bacon egg McMuffin, and he's always wanted a bacon egg McMuffin. <laughs> so mm. I'm so getting sausage this and egg. <laughs> um, breakfast menu's finished. Ah, oh, fuck you! <laughs> Don't make me. I'll get sent there. Don't think I. I and it's yeah. <laughs> so how are you? So you're enjoying Frankston? Are you he, are you here for long? We are leaving today to go to South Morang, another place uh, we've never heard of. Mm -hmm. We uh, one thing I noticed, I was telling Keelan about this yesterday, and it sounds like a bit, but it's not. Are there yeah. more <laughs> oh. people with disabilities in Frankston? Absolutely. I have a joke See? about this. See there, you know See? why it's. It's like a cheaper place to live, but also all the hospitals and specialist clinics uh, in the area. Mm. So it's very easy access to like what what you need. That's why there's if you if you pay attention, there's ramps everywhere. It's a oh. really accessible place. Mm. Frankston's super progressive, mm. but they do get robbed a lot because you know they can't run. Yes. They're slow, yeah, so true. they're easy target. So and, and then did you have a bit about the guy in the wheelchair who yeah. get girls to push him? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there, there, because there are so many disabled people around, there are some people that take advantage of this by pretending to be disabled. Yeah, Frenchie was doing that at the mall. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I heard, yeah. I heard I about ordering, that. Yeah. Was ordering Can McDonald's. you help me go to the bathroom? And I'm like, dude, stop. <laughs> oh, Who said it to me? <laughs> my zipper has come down. I can't pull it up. Pull it yeah. up for me. You know what else we have as well? We have like evangelical Christians who try and sell you on religion they look for drug addicts oh so one of them came up to me which is how i knew i looked like shit that day <laughs> you know they came up to me like hey man do you believe in god and i was like uh do you like tiktok because i thought and relate i yeah. thought like the next thing was gonna say do you believe in god because you're about to meet him oh, you know shit. and then i die <laughs> yeah it's scary that's a cool yeah, catchphrase cool to kill someone yeah yeah, yeah. But I, uh, it was it was very strange. They came up to me and they tried to sell me on God. They're talking to me, and then and then a fan comes up and was like, "Hey, man!" They wanted to get a photo, and then and then it was this really weird thing where the I was surrounded by these two people trying to sell me on God, and then like mm. a fan came up, and the fan thought there were two other fans. So he started, "How do you know this guy?" And they were like, "How do you know this guy?" And then they tried to start sell selling the fan on God. Oh, bro. And then it just looked like wow. I was friends with the evangelicals. <laughs> and then me and the evangelicals were like, hey, come visit us at church. And I'm like, I don't know any of these people. Yeah, someone's yeah. telling I'm, you a weird story. They're like, I met Lewis Pete. He tried to make me join a church. I was yeah. waiting for Frenchie. He was in the bathroom with someone else he <laughs> yeah. tricked to, into helping, helping him. But yeah, you're not wrong. Lots of disabled people 
in mm. Frankston. It's why I moved here. I feel like I fit in. <laughs> yeah. I saw it's a really funny good. one when I was walking through the shopping center yesterday. There was a lady. Saw a funny <laughs> one. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> They're people, bro. I wasn't even, They're people, I wasn't even bro. talking about disabled They're people. people, bro. He was a quadriplegic. <laughs> <laughs> How good's that? Oh, man. <laughs> I filmed him. And you got a big mood. But let's be real. Sometimes you do see a funny one. <laughs> yeah, you know? Oh, like, you yeah. don't laugh at them, oh, but, no. but you have Tickle a little giggle. Tickle them keep walking. No, when yeah. they... <laughs> <laughs> You know what's bad? My dog hates people in wheelchairs. Oh no. If she sees someone in a wheelchair, and then, yeah. and then, because I've trained her to do that. <laughs> no one told they her to up, sit. They pick mm. up on your instincts. Better yeah. than, better than my, my old childhood dog. She hated black people. Oh, it was so yeah. I don't think my dogs love Indian. We adopted have- her and she came like that. She just came racist. <laughs> so anyone, she, it was like Indian was like, Wary, but fine. But one time uh, my dad, because he took her to work, yeah. his builder, some Sudanese dudes oh, wow. were doing the roof mm-hmm. and she was just yeah. barking at them all day. <laughs> and they go, don't worry, man, we get it all the time. Wow. Apparently it's a thing. Wow. Yeah. Could, could, it, could, it, could maybe your dog just hated roofers? Like they overcharge or they're working No, dogs slowly. love to roof. <laughs> Oh, you Roof. said Rufus. I yeah. thought my dog's called Rufus. Really? That's what I heard. I was like, oh. have you got dogs confused? Oh, I'm about to see a musician called Rufus too. Oh. You were right. Okay, no, we're not doing a thing. So I'm walking through the shopping center. Yeah, and you, the and you lady saw working someone with, <laughs> with a colostomy bag. <laughs> you're like, ah, I can't poo. <laughs> so this lady's working at one of those ones that don't have walls, the ones in the middle, little, oh, yeah, sh- yeah, little yeah, yeah, store. Yeah. Oh, the ones that are pretending to be a shop? Yeah, where they, they're just anyway. desperately staring yeah. at you. And there was a little, like, almost squatting. a little yeah. kid running, having a good time. I'm mm-hmm. talking three years old, and oh, the lady at the that. store, thought it'd be funny to chase the child as like kind of a <laughs> that's game. A, that's She's a going, good ah, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Yeah. And the kid just starts bawling. The parents are laughing because it's awkward, but this yeah. lady's chasing this little three-year-old down. And it's Who she bawling. doesn't know. Doesn't know. That's good. And that's she had a bit good. of meth energy and I was like, that's yeah. a nice moment. I've caught that. That's so yeah. funny. <laughs> that is really good. I wish you could, you could yell at other people's kids. Oh, yeah. Not in an angry way, just to like scare them. You know, like I was, I was at a cafe and I was, um, I was riding, mm. right. And this, this young family comes in, they had a little mm. kid and, uh, the kid was making a lot of noise. And then the mum went, uh, Oh, don't make the man angry. If you make too much noise, the man will get angry. Oh, and I, I was so close to going, ah! yeah. I would just wish that would yeah. I could have, so like, good. that would have been so good yeah. to just terrify the fuck out of that kid. And probably everyone in the cafe. <laughs> well, yeah, it would have been a bad thing to do in the moment, but society as a whole would have benefited heaps because that kid would never ever make a noise again oh, in a no. public place. I feel it's one of those ones where it's like, I didn't realize I was a good person until I realized all the times I don't yell at kids. Yeah. Because they're on the plane. Sometimes I turn around and they're like, yeah, and I'm like, I do faces and stuff. Yeah. But I don't say anything. Mm. Like, turn around, you little fucking cunt. I don't say that. Yeah. But the I'm guy like, next ah. to me on the plane was getting real pissed off. He was like, because the kid was obviously kicking his chair yeah. or something. And he's like an old man. He's like... But oh, nice if a kid is time, kicking is the chair, if a kid's loud, whatever, if a kid yeah. is kicking the chair, yeah. I will turn around and go, "Hey, can you stop that?" I feel like you need to tell the parents because the parents should. No, see no, you don't tell that. the you don't tell the parents. You turn around and you look at the child, <laughs> and even if they're four yeah. years old, you talk to them like they're twenty five. Yeah, and you go, "Hey, man." Stop kicking my chair. You little fucking virgin. Yeah. You little fucking You're bitch. Virgin, and then you slap bro. them. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, I always do this thing. Do you put your chair back on flights? Um. Uh, sometimes, so very I'm, sometimes. My, my rule is, <laughs> but what I will do is, if someone's in front of me, I'm so long. Yeah. I will, for the first twenty minutes of any flight I'm on, I will sit like this, yeah. so that if they try to put the chair That's down, because I feel like everyone who, try, who puts the chair down, they feel guilty. Yeah. So they, so they are feeling, am I going to hit anyone? Am I going to yeah, hit yeah, anyone? Yeah. If you, this is a great tip to everyone. On the first 20 minutes of flight, if you sit like this with your knees really forward, when they do that first like testing the waters of yeah. the chair dip, they'll feel your knees yeah. and then they'll go, oh, I can't do that. It's like and then risk. for the rest of the flight, you've you'll got extra a, leg room. They won't a put it back. strong border early yeah. on so they know, oh, let's not fuck with this country. We'll go go the other side. We'll go attack Poland. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like when I, like my knees, I'm like Gaza Strip, right forward in there. Yep. Don't fucking cross the line yeah, It's yeah. Like, or, or, or else. Or else. Yeah. 
the only way to get in is is paratroopers. Mm-hmm. Um, enough of that metaphor. But <laughs> so I always do a thing. I'll look behind me. I'm like, I want to put it back. And if the person is as tall as me or taller, I don't yeah. put it back. Yeah. But then shorter, I'm like, you can handle it and I'll put it back. Yeah. And I don't know if they know I've done that and they've just looked at me looking and then they're like, I put it back. They're like, yeah, I'm short. Or they're like, oh, that's rude. I think like, everyone yeah. hates it. I don't think anyone likes no, someone. Because I know I've got enough room. Back. I'm not as tall as you. I'm yeah. six, four and a half. I've got enough room. Someone puts it back for a short flight. I'm like, fair enough. The seats are yeah. made to go back. I don't mind if it happens to me. Yeah. Yeah. I so don't, yeah, I will I don't do it mind. to other people, my height or less. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah, if it's a tall it. bloke, yeah. I won't do it. But if, if, if it's like, uh, like a small woman, yeah, I'm putting the seat back. I, I had a, small, a really bad one because I rarely do it. And the lady in front of me put her chair back, and I go, "Fuck! Now I have to because I've yeah. got barely any room now." Put it back. The lady taps me behind me, and she's like, "Can you put it forward a bit?" I'm like, "Cunt! This fucking yeah. lady in front of me did it. I'm allowed to do it." Right. Yeah, yeah. I, me I, off. What you should have done is you is you should have is you should have gone. You should have gone. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> yeah, I wish I did. Well, you should have gone. Uh, oh well, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to bring it up with the plane. Send an email to the CEO. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. plane. They made the them design for a reason. Yeah. You know what the chair thing is? It's it's such a fucking selfish human thing of like I'll do it and I'll hate it when it's done to me. Yeah, that's the like I all I need to do. I don't hate is, it. I would I would be. I reckon you would pull the biggest face. I don't. I honestly don't because I know. Really? I know I that's know. why they're made and I do it too. Yeah. Even when I get my laptop out, I'll have a leaning forward in case they put it down and it cracks the screen. Yeah, I'm yeah. ready. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't hate it. Mm. I had one, uh, it was a Scandinavian young lady. She was like 22, yeah. like oh, entitled. It was her first trip yeah. overseas, whatever. Yeah. Oh, bro. Taps me on the head. On the head. Excuse me. Can you please not? I'm like, why not? They're made to go yeah. down. I am. My knees are here. I'm like, you're like five foot seven. I'm six yeah. four. They're in front of me. They've got theirs. Did you down. say that? Yeah. 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 It's like, oh, you can't put it down. It's squishing me. I'm like, my meatballs. I, just, I didn't say anything because I'm not going to pretend I said something. I, didn't. I, I just stared at her like, you are the scum beneath my shoe. Yeah. yeah. And I just kept it down. I would have opened the emergency exit, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Oh, 100%, the bro. reasonable option. Uh, 100%, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa, I can see why. Planes are one of those places like supermarkets where everyone goes and you have yeah. to be close to people you would never yeah. be close to yeah. in real life. Mm. It's like putting people who should never meet together. Yeah, right. There's yeah. always to each other. issues. Yeah. yeah. It's the worst. Yeah, like courtrooms too, like a jury jury duty. Mm. Mm. Have you guys ever done that? I'm yeah. kind of offended I've never been selected. Have you done it? Yeah. Well, really? I've I didn't, never, do, never I didn't do a full trial. I went in there. I had to take work off. I was teaching at the time. I actually had oh, a job. Oh, that was for something else he went in there for. No, <laughs> I was not on trial. No, I know what you're trying to get at. <laughs> well, what happened? We got in um, yeah. and we watched, I think it was Mrs. Doubtfire. So we got in there like, oh, we're just waiting for jury selection, whatever. So um, they put Mrs. Doubtfire well, on to All the jurors, it's, all, it it's like 14, 14 of us or how many of they have. We're all in a room before court starts and they yeah. put on Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. Because um, it's like a, it was actually going to be a trial. We watched about 55 minutes of it. That's mm. almost all of it. And then they said, oh, they've come to a plea deal without going to court. You guys can go home. Like, Do you get we paid for this? this? Yeah, you get like a per diem and we got the whole per diem. It was like, it's only like 100. It was only like 144 bucks. Yeah. So less than I would have made teaching, but I got the day off. So I was like, yep. yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Have you been selected? No, never Weird, have. right? Because I hear people getting selected all the time. The letters time. don't make it to Frankston because everyone goes, <laughs> innocent, he didn't do it. <laughs> no, bro, they're fucking lying. No snitching. <laughs> I don't open letters anymore. I haven't opened a letter in like eight years. That's I keep getting strange way to live your life. Oh, they're never house. good, but are they ever good? No, nah, you ever get a good letter? I don't open. Not letters. opening that shit. I I moved into this place like in like in 2021. We are still getting letters from like four multiple different names. Mm. Still, do you, do you and we them? used to send them like return to sender. We used to do that mm. so we wouldn't get them anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But I, like just a few, just a month ago, I got a letter for a new name. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this address, but Ooh. literally I keep getting letters from like four concreting companies and for this guy and for that guy. And there's a few consistent names, but every now and then there'll be like a, uh, cause it was a white family that lived here before, but I keep getting letters for like Indian women. Ooh, and I'm like, what's going on fun. there? And I open them and they're not, they're just like bills and yeah, things yeah. like that. 
But and I used to do return to center to be a good person, but now I just put them in the bin nah, immediately. It's fun, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe swap seats. Yeah. Yes, come come sit over here, Keelan. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Hey, We've got coming on the mic. Uh, we have a, a bunch of people land. in here. We we I just did a Tom and Frenchie's podcast, by the way. This is part two. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, the start of the year when Harry Styles was in town. We is that Mike on? Sorry. The morning yeah, of, yeah. we checked our mailbox and there was a letter for the girl who used to live in the house before us. Two VIP Harry Harry Styles oh. tickets. So we went. <laughs> did you? <laughs> yeah. That's so good. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> really good stuff. Why would she get them posted? <laughs> I don't know. Like, don't they? Sometimes they only do posted tickets. And it says on, said on the thing, it was like, uh, this is like the, your only valid ticket. If you lose it, tough tit. <laughs> Did she try to come back and find it? <laughs> <laughs> That's epic. Was it good? Did you have a good time? It was fucking awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck awesome. yeah, that's the best. That's I think watermelon that was a sign sugar. From God that you were yeah. meant to go. Sign of yeah. the times, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, because she, you, did you have time to give them to her if you got in contact yeah. with her? If she'd like rocked up before 3 p.m. when we left. Mm. Even to her. Yeah, what a good night out. That's so good. That's the best. That Three really tickets is awesome. to Harry Styles. On um, the way in, you hear some woman go, I swear I have tickets. <laughs> I've got the email right here. You need physical tickets. Sorry. <laughs> we even looked the girl up on Facebook thinking, mm. oh, we might message her. And the photos are like in the house, in our yeah. house. It was very funny. Oh, that's weird. Keelan, uh, on, back onto disabled people in oh, Frankston. You, okay, you are where your neighbor uh, were disabled mentally. And uh, <laughs> and did you say went disabled? No, they they would they were disabled. They were disabled. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, full they time. Got full time. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a hobby. Wow. Um, and uh, every time Keelan sneezed, <laughs> it would set the neighbor off. So Keelan would sneeze, and then the neighbor would be like, <laughs> That's, That's very so funny. funny. Really wow. good. Like a like a dog, like an alarm. Yeah. And then one time Lewis and, and a friend have come to pick me up and they've just held down the horn <laughs> oh, in the yeah. driveway. Oh, we love to bring them up. <laughs> there's there's um old legacy. I'm not Don't sure. the dog up. Did, I'm yeah. not sure. <laughs> if you ever went to Legacy's house in um in Sydney, next door to the the like a share house a few comedians were living in, there was a house full of little people. Yeah. Oh, well it was a little good. couple, yeah. I should say. And it was regular sized fence, so we could look over and, and look in and just they're going about their day, just doing normal things. They but were trapped in there. Mm. <laughs> we're we're trapped. Yeah, this is a regular sized fence. Trapped, but Couldn't it was reach just the door. Just it was just uh, it was just That's a neighbor cool. I've never sort of purviewed in on before. Mm. What are they doing in there? Just, just living life and shit. Just living life, no. <laughs> just making food and watching TV. You know, you know what's what's a good one with little people is they're probably much less affected by the cost of living crisis because they won't. <laughs> surely they're not, they're not eating Fuck much. Yeah, that's know? a good point. They're, and they're buying studio. kids clothes. That's a good point. Yeah. And they yeah. got kids' cars too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, little they can probably cars. just jump yeah. in those little uh, remote control ones. Yeah, they do. They yeah. do. Yeah, <laughs> fucking settle down in a treehouse. Take tree an extra house. battery pack. Swap it out halfway to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 good times. Um so Harry Styles, mm -hmm. we always have this uh conversation. He's, he's shaved his head now, he's accepted baldness. Has he? Yeah. Finally. Can you get a picture of him? There were rumors. Had a had a thought. She reckons he shaved his head because he might be going to like Turkey or something and it'll be less obvious when they do the hair transplant. He's doing right. get, He's getting a transplant. Like cuz he's got the widow's peak a little bit. Could, shaves yeah. it down, just put fills in the couldn't, gaps in the forest. But couldn't he just get that done in England? I feel like he only go to Turkey cuz it's cheaper. Well, like maybe, maybe he's not going to Turkey, but he oh, could yeah, be getting yeah. the procedure. I saw oh, on my flight back from um Europe, someone yeah. had just got it done and I it was awesome. very in my face because he thought he was in my seat. He's like, you're in my seat. I'm like, I'm not in your seat, bro. And he's got that bald head yeah. and just like- The hairline's like too, too low. But yeah, the rest I'll is shaved. Smack the rest is shaved top. and this is like red yeah. dots and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And he's staring at me. I'm like, can I have a look at your ticket? And he shows me it. And it's that seat. I'm like, bro, that's that's the wrong flight. That's like last week's flight. I got it. At it. I'm like, oh, oh it's yeah. all good. You've had, a big, you've had a big week. Shaved his head. That's a oh, weird thing. He After does. He's got a hairline like me. Yeah, rumors of, think he's hotter, the of him going bald. So he's, he's shaved oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think it's going to really baby. negatively affect his career. <laughs> yeah, I was saying like you got if, if anyone's going to get it, get a hair transplant, he should. Mm. Like for his career, it'll look 
You've yeah. always have all your hair, or is it going? Is it? Is oh, it's it going. Fleeing? That's why I'm wearing yeah. hats, bro. Oh, yeah. He's fine. fine. I'm yeah. wearing hats, bro. I don't think I'm ever going to lose mine. But but the problem with me is I have a huge forehead mm-hmm. and I look like it's receding. Mm. But I've looked at that since I was eighteen. Yeah. It just but it hasn't moved. I just have a huge forehead and the and the widow's peak. Yeah. Mm. I've been people have been telling me I'm going bald since I was eighteen. My, get my grandfather has all these hair. So you can see if that's it moves. good. I mean, maybe I should just get a hair transplant just to make my hairline look n- yeah. more normal. But go too low so it's real close to your eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> you got hair on your forehead. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that'll yeah, be Yeah, so cool. I'm not going bald, but I'm kind of cursed by looking like mm. I'm going bald forever. I, yeah. I used to have this guy abusing me on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> I was whenever I do a like Snapchat, sexually? he would like ride back and like sc- like all this time would just be like, yeah. um, "Look at you, you balding cunt!" Or how's that widow's peak? You bald I bet it's fuck. someone you know, eh? I bet for it was ages. Lewis. And I was like, I didn't even know what a widow's peak was. I wasn't really thinking about my hair. I was like, that's cool. I blocked him. Started doing from a different account. <laughs> wow. Just about your hair? Just about my hairline. He like obviously had some trigger about his own oh, that he's trying really to put onto me. Yeah. I'm like, bro, yeah. I'm not worried. I'm. Yeah, it's going back. I'm getting older. I'll wear a hat. I'll grow a mullet. I'll be fine. Yeah, that's so it's funny fun. that he made funny. a new account. It was bizarre, to, bro. To it was like call so a comedian personal. bald. <laughs> yeah, it's not bro. even like of all the other mean things you could say about anyone. Like, you, like if you're I stalking think that would, them, that would affect you. Though. No, I honestly don't. I don't, I'm like, I don't think out so. Out of all the things I'm worried about, it's yeah. not my hairline. It's going. I mean, I've seen dads. It's fine. I'll be fine. Mm. It'll go a bit further back. It'll stay for a while. How about your parents? They still have their hair. Yeah, we. You got to look at your grandma because yeah. it's mum's oh, side. The woman. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You don't see a lot of bald women. Yeah, you never see a bald woman. No, Apart you do. Smiths. No. You do. You do. Yeah, Jada. <laughs> that's the Jada. only one. Yeah. Fuck, J- Jaden must be spewing. Oh, it's probably not his real mom. Real yeah. mom. Probably not. <laughs> Family did some weird shit. <laughs> no, yeah. Grand, I feel like, yeah. Granddad's I've... both sides had hair. Let's How much go. sperm yeah. do you reckon she had in her when she got pregnant? Oh, Why? On her? Or what do you her? mean? Oh, just like Jada, from a bunch Jada of blokes. From a bunch of blokes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because like, yeah, Will's was That's probably the in there. Have you ever seen the, um, you know, there's the UFC. In Russia, they have like their version of the UFC, but it's eight dudes aside. So eight dudes in oh, one ring punching on with each other. Holy I reckon shit. that's what her pussy looks like. <laughs> yeah, and, they, and it's just a bunch of cum fighting over who gets the fertilizer. Mm. Well, I'd but, say but Diddy all... was probably one of those cums looking back on her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you, yeah. you see she's talking about Tupac as if they were ever in love. Yeah. Because he's dead. He can't. She can he's just probably, say whatever she wants. I reckon she shot him. He's probably up, up there in heaven or more likely hell going, I, I never fucked her. Yeah. She's weird. We hung yeah. out a couple Under of set. times. Stage five clinger. Yeah. Yeah. For she sure. She kept getting photos with me. I'm like, fuck off. What does she know pussy. about Will? She's got to know some heinous oh, stuff dude, for him 100%. to be. Same with, because he's a Scientologist as well. They got some Oh, are dirt. they? Yeah. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that explains sure. it, right? Because I was thinking about it. I was like, man, very admirable for them to stay together, even though they clearly hate each other for the kids. Yeah. But their children have been adults Grown for up. so long And now. also, I and don't think really it helped them. Nice. No, it didn't help them at all. No. She's like, I never even liked Will. <laughs> She's saying yeah. all these like insane statements. Yeah. I think he's an ugly piece of shit. It's like, what are you doing? That's yeah. classic. <laughs> they might, yeah, they should be divorced because that's classic toxic divorce. Where it's like, oh, yeah. your father's a fucking deadbeat. Anyway, yeah. there he is. There's the. I think the most heinous one she's done is the, that thing of on her TV sh- or her Facebook show, the Red Table Talk, where they're talking about their marriage mm. and her kid is there. Like Ooh. the girl, Willow, is there and so is her mum and so is Will. And they the wedding just comes up like, oh, and then we got married and she goes, I hated the wedding. It was awful. I didn't want to get married. I was crying. And even her mum is like, oh yeah, she was uh, like politely said she was a, a fucking cunt that day yeah yeah like even her mum was like yeah she was uh, really rude and then this imagine saying to your daughter i hated my wedding i didn't want to get married to your father it was awful yeah and him just going ha, 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 like pretending to laugh oh, <laughs> yeah. how Poor funny Will. is this my soul hurts that's <laughs> probably the greatest acting he's done in his career then is just his whole relationship his whole life yeah his it's, whole life it's, so it's wild get the it fuck really out of is there, man. very sad why would he not just leave her? i don't understand I don't know. Because it tanked either. his whole career as well. Like, I even before the slap. But his reading. career would come back if he leaves her, and everyone can be like, oh, she was abusing you. Yeah. Yeah. Even with the slap, it all makes sense. You're, you're a wound probably, up beaten yeah, housewife who finally yeah. snaps and shoot your 
you abuse her, or well, you take out I don't know if you should else. kill her. No, no, no. But that's what happens, like <laughs> yeah, in domestic yeah, no. violence situations. Yeah, yeah. 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 But um, I reckon she's got the same dirt on him that the Scientologists have on them. Mm. He's probably fucking murdered someone. Or why does she even want to stay with him? Well, you know what? She could he get mad would have young way cock. more money, right? She gets half. Yeah, I guess so. If you once you have when you have that much money, if you give like Jeff Bezos is a perfect example. Mm. People are like, oh, he his wife got billions of dollars. It's like, That's yeah, like, he won't even feel it. Like yeah, he, yeah. It's, it's crazy. At, at some point, it's like actually impossible for you to spend it if you tried. Yeah. And like, what's the point of having a bit more money if you're miserable? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. Would you root Jada? Oh yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just for the story, <laughs> for the story root, alone. I'd root Although I, I don't think I could stop myself from slapping her on the back of the head. Oh, not yeah. hard, just oh, to yeah. hear the noise. Yeah, just like a basketball. Like I don't like. Shout out to all the women out there who have bald partners. Bald. I don't know how you guys do it without just like going smack every time. Yeah, yeah. I just every time lick you it. pick up a piece yeah. of ham to put it on like a sandwich, yeah. you gotta just I could it like you head. could not have eggs mm. in the house because no. I'm cracking it on that dome no. for sure. Yeah. Because that's that's the thing. Like no as soon as you go, you can't come over because you're getting you're getting cracked. Eggs <laughs> yeah. on the head. Oh, I want, sure. them, I want the eggs on the head. <laughs> now you owe me some bacon. <laughs> so you you guys are touring together. Yes. Yeah. How's how's the shows going? Oh, it's been a delight. Yeah. That sounded sarcastic. Didn't no, it? it's been great. We're right at the end of the year. Um, we just did Frankston last night. Oh, so you're at the end of your tour now. Yeah. 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 yeah we it's got been a, a long couple, one. It's been got a extended. long one. Yeah. I went and fucked off and did UK in the middle of it, so the boys got a break. Mm-hmm. No rest for the wicked. Yeah, that's good. And well, did it translate well in UK, the show? Yeah, I had to do a few tweaks, you know, like get the yeah. Australianisms out, get the Chappelle yeah. Corby stuff out, mm-hmm. um, Andrew Denton stuff. <laughs> Andrew Denton? <laughs> I haven't heard Andrew that name Keith, in Andrew Enough Keith. rope, am I right? <laughs> those rope. Listening. They did not oh, get yeah. the rope stuff. Yeah, or what the? the? Stuff. <laughs> yeah, you do a lot of that. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the? How do you not get get rope. Say hi to your mum for me. You always do Say that. Say hi to your mum for me. Peter Hell, you had a few bits about him and yep, then Kareem Grant. Yeah. <laughs> Molly Meldrum. Mm-hmm. Um, they probably would get that actually. Yeah. But yeah, UK, they love it. They they were just nice at comedy crowds too. They're like enjoying setups and a, a, they appreciate a, a well-structured joke. Yeah. And I, yeah. I wrote this new bit over there about YouTuber boxing, which just fucking slap because oh, I they hate would that have. shit so much. Because KSI is huge there. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're kind of turning on him too. Yeah, interesting. Well, it's kids like him now. Yeah. Kids. Speaking like, of bald, bald receding hairline. Yeah, KSI. Logan, bro. Logan and KSI, bro. True. You see Logan, that running clip of yeah. his hairline? Yeah. I think, do you think he's getting some stuff in there? He should. Like, I don't know. I, you can take, have. I think yeah. you can, when you start, when you start going bald, if you're, if you're quick, you can take pills and, mosh, and it, yeah. will, it won't grow it back. It'll just stop the loss. And it'll thicken it up. But doesn't it make you like but your dick not work? It makes your dick not work yeah. and it makes you come stupid. So you can't get oh. someone pregnant. It does. Oh. You come yeah. stupid. Wow. Yeah. You want that Goes smart backwards. cum, bro. You cough yeah. it up. Yeah. <laughs> Cough it up. <laughs> so I reckon if Stupid come. if he's on anything, it'll be pills because he's definitely receding, but it hasn't gotten worse. Mm. I think that's how you can tell if someone's on the pills mm. if they are if they've been receding for ages, but it's just it's just stopped. Like the pills are yeah. like you know like you, Hodor. The breast smells like. Do you, what do you think of the Logan and Nina's relationship? Um, I think that it's uh, it. I'm sure it's a positive relationship. I just think that I feel sorry for her. Uh, everyone just abusing her for the amount of partners that she's had. It was a lot. It's it was it was stacked. I don't know if I could uh, do that. But here's the thing: you got you got engaged to her. You've I he here's what I think. He says he knew about all of them. Nah. Nah. No, you didn't. Nah. No way. No. All of them, every no single one. No one wants to know that detail about their <sighs> No, I don't like, think tell so. Tell me everything. She'd be like, ever... yeah, yeah, I was pretty active. And you'd be like, say, say no, no more. more. Please, say not please. a word more. Say, don't say yeah. what you said already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to settle down. Let's just say that. Yeah. Because I've had a versa, few. Like, I've had a lot. I've had a lot. But I do think what Dylan Dennis did was fucked. I think that was like... 
he's really he's gross. still going. He's still trying to do it. He's still going. He'll get sued and, he's, and he's, she'll he's, win. He lost it. Like it's stalking. He at lost this point. it. He lost yeah. it. He had a moment of this career where he could have became a thing. He could have and he then he couldn't like, throw one punch. Even if he did okay in the fight. Like if, if, got it was, knocked if, out. if it was vaguely close, he could have launched a podcast and been a yeah. millionaire like that month. Bro. Would have been better but for him to get knocked down the first round, going down swinging, not like whatever the fuck he was doing. Yeah. Don't hurt me, Logan. Yeah. It's very weird. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, uh, I think you know what I was thinking beforehand? I was like, Logan has to win. Oh, like, yeah. he has to. Or he's fucked. Oh, yeah. If he lost, could you imagine that's his comment section, that's his replies for the rest of his life is that and all this shit about his girlfriend. But oh. I do I do think it's I do think it was pretty gross of what Dylan did because now now Logan can't ever post a photo with his girl for like the next five years yeah, without that being right. the comment section. It was just too much and it's also it's one thing to go, okay, look at this, this is funny. Mm. Now I'm going back dissing Logan. I've got other things like and it's just every yeah. single day was only Nina at some point. Yeah. It was like, bro, just just relax. You it's kind of lame. At, yeah, at, at, at some, some point, point. figure something and else. And also it's probably just the reason Logan beat the fuck out of him too. Yeah. Like that would have fueled me. You know what it was like? Oh, it was like yeah. the Simpsons when to Bart had that catchphrase. I didn't do it. Yeah. And everyone laughs and yeah. then they laugh and then they laugh and then yeah. one reason everyone stops laughing. It's like, I didn't do it guys. And everyone's like, nah, I can't. That's just not, a, that's just not that. it anymore. Yeah. And now he's trying to <laughs> hold on to it. Anymore. It's like, dude, he, he beat you in a fight. And like you, didn't you throw a punch. You didn't throw off. Not only did he beat you, it's like, it looked like you weren't even capable of defending yourself yeah. slightly. Mm -hmm. Like he trashed you. Uh, and now you want to tweet more? It's and now like, he's the worldwide wrestling champion of the world. Mm, yeah. So we've heard. Did you know Logan won the belt? Did he? In, yeah. In, WWE. in real wrestling. Yeah. That's WWE. Funny. Yeah. What's, um, who's he fighting next? Has he got someone? I've been he said he's it. retiring from boxing. So right. he's just going to do WWE, which probably would pay more. Oh, dude. And be a lot safer They got the most easier. dedicated fans. Yeah. Mm. Also, he's got the prime thing Most of them now. live in Frankston, I think, actually. Yeah. Yeah. They, do. they think it's real. They think it's real. Yeah. Bro, I saw Prime in the supermarket the other day, and that's why I was like, I'm like, who the fuck's buying Prime? And I'm like, you know what? 1.2 billion bottles they've sold. That's what it, it? That's what it is. Drink the other all day. their yeah. fans are, are children, and we make fun of them. Like, oh, yeah. children don't have any fucking money. Who does the shopping? The mums. Yeah. What are they buying for the kids? What the fucking kids want? Kids have $4. Yeah. Do exactly. Mums don't give a fuck if they get Gatorade or Prime. Yeah. Kids, have, that sort kids of have 10 bucks a week pocket money, 10, 20 mums bucks a week. Buying it now, four and mums are buying it as well. So that, and it, if that's you're 15 over. and you got your first job, you don't have to pay Bro. rent. You're just yeah. buying My, Prime, dude. So the only place you could get Prime for a while in England was like um, they were sponsoring Arsenal. Yeah. Because they were sold out everywhere. So you could get at the stadium. Mm. My cousin's a member there. He used to go in on game days to watch the game. Yeah. And then he would have to buy a bunch of primes for like my cousin's uh, yeah. kids, like their nephews yeah. and nieces and stuff. Because that's cool. That would be the coolest they could roll in with a bottle of yeah, prime. Yeah, right. And so they that's just, so funny that because that, that, if you only have one bottle, mm. you, you want to be cool. Yeah. That means that the entire day at school, they'd be sipping. Oh, yeah. Oh, they'd, yeah. They'd, be like, they'd be treating it like a $200 glass of whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like... <laughs> <laughs> mm, one of those drinks trolleys in their house and they're just pouring a little bit. There's a up. fine drop. Have mm. you tried it? It is foul. Oh, I yeah. tried the energy drink one. I haven't had the like energy orange drink. mango. It's all right. Yeah. I didn't mind it. I've given you the orange, the energy drink because I got given a slab. Ooh. I can't remember what the energy drink tastes like, to be honest. I what think the it? energy, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's like, tastes like it's so American. Like you, you taste it and your whole body goes... That's not real. It tastes like alcoholic, that in there. actually. Yeah. It, yeah, like it's flavored antiseptic hand yeah, wash. Yeah, it's definitely not it's good for foul. you. It's foul. It's definitely not good for mm. you. No, absolutely not. But what is good for you? That's true. Clout. Clout's yeah, good for yeah, you. Yeah, and if that's giving it. you that clout, yeah. dude, worth Ooh. it. Yeah. Drink it down. Ask mom for money. Clout's good for Call you. Call me Optimus because I'm getting that prime, oh. son. Drinking, drinking a lot of alcohol yeah. uh, to impress people. That's good for you. That's good Definitely, for you. Definitely, yeah. bro. Smoking cigarettes to look cool. That's Damn. good. 100%, yep. bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Name That's one really person who smoked cigarettes who wasn't cool. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't They're do all it. cool. That's why they. That's why they want to ban them. All these old people, they want to ban it's all cigarettes. the politicians because they've never been <sighs> cool. They've never oh, been yeah, cool. Yeah, bro. That's and you why, know why they're not cool. You can't smoke in Parliament House. <laughs> that's it. Oh, you can jack off on a desk. Yes, you can. That's encouraged. <laughs> also not cool. Also, 
Mm. Well, it Kinda depends cool. whose desk it is. If it's and your how desk, long it takes. I think if it takes too long, it's a bit not cool. Mm. But you get it done quickly, and it's still kind of funny. You're like, yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, like a little seventeen second jack. Yeah, boy, you're like, oh, boys, check this out. Seventeen like, seconds. That's impressive. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, you come in hard. <laughs> yeah, literally. You're coming hard. Yeah, <laughs> but like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, you're ready to go. So what's what's pl- after the tour? Like, what is your plan? Because when does it finish? Soon. Uh, December six. Yeah. We've got so this film special in Brisbane. Uh huh. Um, nice. Two nights in Brisbane. A couple tickets left. If anyone's up there. Is this for YouTube the special? I or? imagine so, but we will film at all the specs, mm-hmm. and um, we'll uh, attempt around. to get some meetings. But you know. They're hard to meet with these people. Yeah. I guess Prime we can probably always do again. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know who else is. Dude, the streaming to- services are very like, uh, we'll talk to you. Don't reach out to us. Yeah, they are, they're hard to get something done. Yeah. So that's why I was like, worst comes to worst, YouTube. Also, I've got, it'll, I'll film too much. So I'll have heaps of clips for YouTube, even if I do get a streaming. Because you know, yeah. streaming, they don't let you post on your social. You're like, fuck, mm. that's a waste. But yeah. I'll have lots of extras. Yeah. Um, so that that'll be cool. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it. And then just I got a week, a, a year off to write. I'm, I might do. Oh, some really? Shows. You're taking the whole year off? I might start again doing shows in August or yeah. September. But I'm not going to rush it. Like how you had all this time off. I feel like I think it's yeah. good. It's good. At least enough time that I work. 40 minutes of quality shit. In Honestly, rooms, I, so I was really worried go. about the time off for me. I was like, because I had like several. I had a few like eight to 12 month time off a few yeah. times in a row and I'll, every time I was like, oh man I'm going to come back and I'm going to be shit or whatever and I think it made me like a little bit better just to have a bit of space from like performing to kind of think and write without the stress of like I need 50 minutes right now to yeah. perform uh, and then you come back and you're like really excited to do it and you have because I think to write you to, to put things out you got to put things in and like experiences and mm. do things yeah, exactly fingers and yep. if you if you're only touring, all you're going to talk about is like ah, oh, so it's on the road, Airplanes. hotels, yeah, yeah, yeah. slobbing on knobs. Mm. Yeah. You're going to go crazy with that much time on your hands. Yeah, well, I'll He's probably get back on the road time. quicker. Yeah. Hopefully, I can develop a little film crew, and I can, I've got someone to film with every week. But yeah, yeah, He's going to join the army. That's what happened in lockdown. He almost well, joined the army. They're looking. Are they? It's about to kick off. Let's yep. go. In America, they started putting uh, putting out ads and there's, they're not diverse at all. All their ads just have like white guys aged 18 to 25. So war's coming. You oh, can tell yeah. by when they want war. If, if when, it's a, when it's peacetime, all their ads will have women and gay people in oh, them. Mate. And yeah. they'll talk about how progressive they are because yeah. they're, they're really looking for people that probably wouldn't join. But when yeah. it's when it's go time, yep. all the ads are like, let's go, boys. Oh, oh, oh. boys yeah. trip, boys trip. Because yeah. yeah. they're the dumbest uh, yeah. subsection who will probably be like, let's fucking go. Yeah. Whereas the women will be like, oh, with the war coming, I don't know. Yeah. I might chill out Sounds on like this a bad one. Yes. Um, for the free education in peacetime. Yeah. Mm. But I don't know if I really want to go to China right now or whoever's going to start the war. Yeah, I'm I'm learning China. Mandarin, that's for sure. 100%, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, bro. We're learning how to cook Mongolian duck. We're going to get those fucking <laughs> spring rolls ready, the yeah. honey chicken. They yeah. come in, we're going to have a plate ready. Can Spread. Well, well that's, yeah. why I, that's why I have, I've i got two cats and a dog. Oh, Just in perfect. case people get hungry. <laughs> Was like, oh. <laughs> That's so good. They oh like yeah, it. they like. Oh dogs. yeah, they love it. <laughs> <laughs> they do. No, we've we've, we've done the research. It, so we've done the research. What about you, Tom? What What are your plans for when this tour starts? I don't stops? know. I've got. I'm trying to do more script writing stuff. Yeah, but it's just fucking hard to get in the zone. Yeah, uh, it's just a lot of prep. Yeah, but I want to do I want to do my own hour. Mm-hmm. Of just um, oh, your own tour? Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe a tour or just the comedy festivals. I'm mm-hmm. not sure, but um, need to do more like rooms. I got a bunch of stuff to work out. But yeah, that's cool. Let's talk of a split show. You might. You think 
Yeah. Not anymore. No. Bringing back the roundabout crew for a live tour. Yeah, yeah, why not? He's always got good scripts he's writing. It's just hard finding someone to pitch them and, and take them like he's always. Especially from here. Who are you going like, to show? I feel like yeah, Tom's no, I'd go got to some America. stuff ready like yeah. to go though. Like yeah. if, if he had a bunch of meetings, he could yeah. bring in like this project and yeah. this project. Yeah. And they'd be like, yo, we actually want to make this. Well, yeah. I think that's like the, I mean, that's like the Ranker boys, right? They had their, they got their mm, one that actually got picked up and then now. And they were, they were fucking hustling that script for ages. Yeah. I was like, are they ever going to make something for a while there? Because it was like five years since they were talking about that oh, film. Man. I always fucking knew that we they would do yeah, yeah. something. They were the Crazy. chosen ones. Yeah, Crazy. 100%. It's just practice, man. You know, hearing them on Joe Rogan was Hilarious. so Oh, so funny, bro. As we, soon as I saw them on Rogan, on I knew road. exactly what it was going to be like, yeah. which was Joe going, who the fuck are he these people? Not ready <laughs> for can energy, you guys bro. finish one story? Yeah. Like just them bouncing off and right. not finishing right. anything. It was, really it was good. Oh, we were saying how much we loved it. Like the medical stories and Joe Rogan yeah. being like, you should not do that. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking what? You yeah. injected. Wait, your arm was paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I got it back. It's fine. Oh, daddy's a little bitch. Uh, yeah. He does. Oh, fuck you, Michael. Michael's a bitch. Oh, but they just. Joe Rogan's like, oh shit. I shouldn't have smoked so yeah, much weed too. before this. Yeah. Yeah. He's so like, he's going, I thought I was going to get visionary directors on yeah. on the podcast. I've just have two dickhead brothers. Even <laughs> the, wasn't the very first sentence. Michael's trolling him about elk meat and stuff. Yeah. Like, let's do DMT, Joe. Let's get and on the Joe's elk like, meat. Did you prep for this? Yeah. Joe ah. just is not on board. Yeah. Doesn't so get it. Funny. <laughs> very really interesting. Good. Yeah, lad. Yeah, lad. But yeah, that's our that's our plan. What are you got your two and that's right. Yeah, I just want to be a comedian again. I'm just gonna I'm I'm like What are the rooms like in Melbourne at the moment? Uh hor- horrific as they always have been. Keelan just laughed. Um <laughs> little giggle. <laughs> yeah, I, I just wanna I wanna do some touring, get my money up and get out of this country is is the yeah, plan. Where, where you would you go? go? New York or, or oh, Austin, New York, maybe. Fucking, New York. We spent a month in New York, me and my fiance this yeah. year. And we fucking were like, it was fucking so cool, man. Yeah. Like we just had an air, the same Airbnb in Manhattan in Lower East for Side a month? for a month. So cool. And it just felt like by the end of it, we're like, we feel like we've going to miss this weird little Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah. But it'd be so sick to live there. Yeah. I think that's, that's what I want. I was talking to Schultz about it because I was like, because I haven't been there since 2019 before COVID and at the time when I went, I did two weeks in New York and two weeks in LA mm. just to be like, all right, where would I, where am I going to live? Cause those were the yeah. two places for comedy. Yeah. Now LA's a shithole, uh, which is great. Uh, no Makes one lives there anymore. Easier. Uh, and also I hated it when I was there. It was yeah, really, really so gross. dirty and sketchy. Yeah. I was talking, talking to Schultz about it and he, he was going, you know, it's worse now. I'm like, I couldn't even fathom that. <laughs> like how it yeah, it's worse than now. what I saw. Um, but now it's like, it seems to be New York or Austin, Texas. Mm. If you want to like kind of make it in comedy, those are the two places. Yeah. yeah. I thought Austin was cool. And then um, I don't know if you remember Froggy Fresh, aka mm. Tyler Cassidy. Yeah. He dropped a song called God Hates Austin. Really? And now I don't know. That was yeah. a while ago mm. then. Yeah, no. Yeah. Isn't that just Austin about they're all pissed off there. because all the LA people are moving to Austin yeah. and, and ruining it and turning it liberal? Yeah, I think that's more the vibe. Yeah. Ah, it's a funny song. Yeah. <laughs> He's a funny boy. But yeah, but I was the, looking at, uh, apparently uh, what um, Schultz was saying was like, New York, every comedian there is incredibly skilled. So it's like hard to kind of get mm, in unless yeah. you're unbelievably good. Even if you're not famous, you have yeah. to be amazing. And that is what I felt when I was there. Like every comic I saw was yeah. the best comic you I've ever to, seen. And you I go heard to the comedy of seller and you're like, holy shit. Yeah, you're like, oh my God. Would you be the tallest there though? Is there any I would tall be. Boys? And I'd there be the only go. Australian. There so you that's, go. so that, I there feel like go. literally that gives you leverage. New of like, chin ah, too. But he's new chin. And I got a new chin. <laughs> and you got them high boots. Let's yeah, go. Absolutely. Um, the one thing that's changed about New York is weed's legal. Probably since It was legal when I was there. There, I when think. I went there, it wasn't, and now it smells like Amsterdam, man. Like so much weed. It's kind of yucky. Yeah, I thought like going there and it every everywhere smelled like weed. I don't, I didn't mind it being legal, but like just the smell of it it's everywhere a was of it. a little bit yucky. Yeah, I yeah, thought it's, a, it's a good smell. Yeah. It, all the Maybe time. Maybe not though. like all the time. Not all the but time. like when you get a little hit on I the street. I think weed is like Ooh, when you smell fun. it, you're like, oh. But when you smell it all the time yeah. and it's not yeah, naughty like and sitting, fun, like sitting next to an Indian man on the plane. 
When you first sit down, what do yeah. you like? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, if you just walk past and it's like, oh, that's a bit fun. And then you're there for the yeah. whole fly. Like, oh, fuck. You know, <laughs> you know, the smell of weed reminds me so much of my dad. Oh, yeah. Your dad my loves dad, it. The dad, my dad that's the dad who sends you cock shots. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. That covered the covered in the, the previous podcast, Tom and Frenchie. Go and listen to that to hear about my dad's dick. <laughs> Um, but he smokes weed all the time. Mm. And obviously as I was a kid, he would hide that from me. I didn't know. Mm. He knew he smoked cigarettes, but I didn't know. He smelled weird. Didn't really know what weed was or whatever. But then I started going to house parties when I was a teenager, 16, 17. Literally, (laughs) I smelled weed and I was like, Oh fuck! Like dad. Here, guys, I got like run. this. You know, smells remind you of memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah weed yeah. lights up, and I'm like, oh, my dad taking me to the beach when I was six. Oh, yeah. that's and that's how thing, I put yeah. together. I was like, oh my god, my dad smokes weed every day. Yeah, that's so the fun. smell receptors are so weird. How there's mm. like it's one of the strongest memory things apparently. Yes, there's like, there's like certain shampoo I smell, and it takes me back to a certain house I lived in as a yep. kid. And like, yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, weird. Yeah, so weed will always remind me of my father. <laughs> yeah, that's what was the smell? Some people we... listening might be like that with meth. But where were we when we smelled that? We were in the elevator and we're like, that is a weird smell. And Luke, I think, nailed it. He's like, it's like when you had those charcoal balls and you bang them together. Oh, oh that's a smell. Yeah, that's and I'm like, I've yeah, never that, thought about man. that in 12 yeah. years, 20 I years they're maybe. A thing. Yeah. Those little, they do like a pop kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. They're like covered in gunpowder or something. Yeah. Like that has a smell. Have you checked out the gun store in Frankston? What? You got to go. Oh, yeah. is it your biceps? Let's go. No, no. <laughs> it's uh, it's back in the shed. We got heaps of hot goods. No, literally, there's a gun store. You should go. It's yeah. right in the middle we- of Frankston. It's huge. There's a big sign out the front that says, we buy guns. Oh, We went yeah. to the pawnbrokers. Okay. Lots of DVDs. <laughs> Too many. Mm. What was on there? Backdoor Sluts 9? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. He, he would have bought it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's better than eight. Eight's DVDs. overrated. Mm. Nine, they found their sort of form again. <laughs> they're, they're the arseholes. I'm prolapsed. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then, Frenchy attempts to go on a run, and it just ends up with something really foul. Yeah, I and even he's like, mm, and we look yuck. out and gauge the room of the people. Yeah. Listening. We're like, that was too far. I no think. one's laughing. Tom okay, knows I have this far. limit where I can only go so long without saying something fucking stupid. Yeah, and so I've just oh this. I, mean, I feel like oh a normal conversation for a while. Let's work prolapse into it. Yeah, where uh, this to be fair to you, we are hitting hour two of podcasting. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I, the brain gets a little fried. Mm. <sighs> Um, so, well, I think we're actually e- e- ending up at the end of the episode here. Ooh, um, beautiful. So, uh, As we go on, where can the people see you? We remember. Okay, this is good. All the times we prolapse together. together. Um, <laughs> Tom and Frenchy podcast. If you like this podcast, you're going to love our one. Lose the mm-hmm. latest episode on it. And then we we had a guest uh, one other time too. And it's just usually just me and Tom. Mm. Riffin. Yeah, find Riffin. it on any podcast. You guys thing. are on a billboard yes, recently. Spotify in, put you on a Melbourne. billboard. That's cool. Berk Street Mall. Really cool. How long were you on there for seven seconds? I think three days. Of oh. seven seconds spots. Yeah. No, it was like a rotating one. So there was a few other radar podcasts it on it. Yeah, for radar. But yeah, yeah, it was really three days on the side of a building. That's really cool. It was pretty big. I never would have expected a corporate machine oh, to dude. put your podcast on a I billboard. Think, no. I, getting, I don't know what's I don't going think on. They I don't know. Yeah. Are they getting desperate? Yeah, what's I don't know. You know what? They they never make it to the end of the podcast where yeah. Frenchie gets, runs out of steam and yeah, starts talking about prolapses. Problems. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Or maybe they think we're like the older brothers of the Inspired Unemployed or something like oh, that. they think we're the Frankston version. We're the Frankston version of yeah. that. I don't yeah. know yeah. what. But yeah, or well, they think we're French and they well, think no, they're was, reaching out to Paris. It was really cool to see. Like I saw that and I thought, oh, well, I can definitely do that. 100%, oh, yeah. bro. Anyway. 100%. <laughs> We're an inspiration of the untalented. <laughs> Just need enough money, bro. Mm. It's so so Radar's like what, like their special needs diversity program? Yeah, it must be. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These guys need Radar <laughs> to get around. Um, no, yeah, pretty much. It's Well, it's it's the new thing they're trying because they do Radar music, which really helps artists and songs yeah. pop. Not as integrated the podcast yet. Um, it has it, we haven't seen, haven't seen the seen a biggest... Bump? Bump. Bump. Yeah. I haven't seen the numbers to be fair. Yeah, it's like if you're going along a road, 
Yeah. And let's mm-hmm. say uh, a big bump would be a speed hump. Mm. So yeah. let's say there's the, there's the Rogan bump, they call it. You do Joe <laughs> Rogan, Rogan bump. your podcast goes up. Yes. I think it was hundreds of thousands yes. from mm. like when I heard about Schultz doing the podcast, Ryan Long did the podcast. Yep. Yep. They exploded. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So that's the Rogan bump. Okay. What about the Spotify <laughs> billboard in Melbourne for seven seconds bump? Uh, it's probably more of like a disability ramp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got a lot of those. Somehow it goes, it down, goes down, down a little bit, but yeah. very it goes slightly. Down. So yeah. Yeah. It's like a pothole in the road. Yeah. You're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you're a bit worried for a while, and then you're back to what you were doing before. You're like, oh, well, at least we're still doing what we are doing before. Yeah, so, <laughs> so nothing really changes. It just takes some time out of your day. No, you got to yeah, go there few, and take a photo. Yeah, and yeah you get a few more, comments. It's more like the going. Tom and Frenchie podcast Instagram story bump. Yeah. It's a cloud bump. Yeah. It's Maybe a cloud Snapchat. bump. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cloud bump. It yeah. is. It's like bringing prime to a primary school. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, we popular mm. for a day. Well, hopefully... The the Spotify radar bump will be uh, similar to the Spearhead Sunday podcast. We got the Spearhead oh, bump now. Yeah, yeah. Dude. If you're oh, um, if you came to the our podcast where we had Lewis on from this, mm-hmm. I want you to write a comment showing you've got the spearhead bump. Yeah. Just say yep. uh lose bump or something like that. Mm, what yeah. about uh yeah. what's a what's a good reference? The spear bump. The spear something spear bump. Yeah, but I wanted something bump. like sexual. Oh, um, <laughs> the the spearhead thrust. <laughs> the spearhead thrust. Oh, there yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah. Comment the spearhead thrust on the if, most recent episode. Oh, uh, if you are, uh, if we have any of the spearhead thrust, I'd like to count mm. those uh, comments. Great. It's on YouTube or Spotify. Excellent. All right. Thanks, boys. Thanks and go see us. them live if you can. All right. Talk to yes. you next Sunday. Have a shit one. Bye. <laughs>